And welcome back. Angry stakeholders staged a protest on Saturday morning at the entrance of Caymanus Park. The protesters were expressing their grounds with promoting company Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited SVREL, who on Friday said there will be more scale back on operations at the racetrack, as well as layoffs and salary reductions. Denise Walters reports. <laughs> No value for Jamaica can racing. That's one of the things I'm totally disgusted about. We don't need Supreme Ventures here anymore. They need to go. The lockdown in St. Catherine happened, and we thought that after the lockdown, they will move forward to run racing. But they are moving forward to lockdown racing. Irate stakeholders letting loose on Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited SVRL as they staged a protest at the Meadowville entrance of Caymanes Park in St. Catherine on Saturday. The protesters say the promoting company is doing them a disservice. We are in a crisis proportion now. What do we do next? Okay, God, these people are mad. These people are angry. These people are hungry. What can you do with hungry people? They will trample you, the leader, for go get food. On Friday evening, SVRL in a release said effective this coming Monday, the main racetrack operations will be scaled down Monday to Thursday. The release added that for the weeks of May 11 and 18, the main racetrack will be open for operations Monday, Tuesday and Friday. And for the week of May 25, the operations will go for Monday and Friday. President of the Grooms Association of Jamaica, Fabian White, admits that these measures are worrying. So what um, the ass people are saying, if you're cutting back the truck from ass is training from 4, 3 to 2, that means there's no indication of race is going to run in very soon. Meanwhile, TVJ Sports has learned that three horses have died at the track between Friday and Saturday, and owner Barrington Bernard notes the situation will only get worse with the new measures. They're talking about the closing down exercise for the horses. They're going to kill off the horses. They are thoroughbreds. Trainer Richard Todd took SVRL and parent company Supreme Ventures Limited SVL to task for what he says is their lack of care for persons at the track. President of the United Race Horse Trainers Association, Ryan Darby, reveals a stakeholders meeting is scheduled for Monday. I know on Monday we are trying to uh, make as much contact with the government, the commission and Supreme Ventures and keep in dialogue with them that we can uh, uh, have, a, have a productive uh, meeting on Monday. And then I said, whatever the steps necessary for action needs to be taken uh, will be taken. But I'm saying the industry will die if it continues like this. So I think the grooms and the stakeholders here are fighting for their survival. Racing has been suspended indefinitely since March 12th. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.